What's up, everybody? This is Jack from Crypto 49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. Today, I want to talk about how to write trades to Google Sheets. So this is a plugin created by RJP Griffin. So I think it goes by Griffin on the Gecko forums. <laughs> what he did was he created a plugin for the Gecko trading bot that will write every single trade, either buy or sell, to a Google Sheets. And then it will end up looking something like this. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. The instructions are pretty straightforward. Is if you just go to his GitHub repo here, what all it says is download or clone the repo, copy the gform.js into gecko slash plugins. Pretty much you unzip or clone the repo, and then you grab that file, git form.js, and you copy it right into the plugins folder inside of gecko. So I'm right inside of gecko's directory right now. So you can see this is a gecko folder, and inside it is a plugins directory. And then here I already dropped in the gforms.js. So that's the first thing you have to do. Second thing I do is copy the contents, not the actual file, the contents of the downloaded plugins.js file into the gecko slash plugins.js file. So again, now let's go back out here to the gecko main folder. There is a plugins.js file. You don't want to overwrite this. You're going to break all the other plugins in the gecko trading bot if you overwrite this file. So what you want to do is open this file in Visual Studio Code or whatever editor you use. So and also open the plugins.js that you downloaded from Griffin's repo. And then this all shows here. Just copy this whole section here and then paste it in between one of the other plugins that's already in the plugins.js file that is in your Gecko folder. So in my case I paste it between the mailer and also the vice logger. So I place it right in between it. So that step is done. Save it. So next thing you have to do is copy the code from the downloaded sample config file into your command line config file. Again, let me reiterate since I didn't mention it ahead of time. This only works with the command line for the Gecko trading bot. It will not work for the UI. If you're trying to use this with the UI, it won't work. So just stop right here. Save yourself time. What you do now is you're basically copying a portion of his code from his sample dash config file into your own config file. So right now, as you can see here, I have my file config.papertrader.js. That is my config file that I named for my paper trader. And I already copied this section right here. So if you open his file here, all you see is this particular section, config.gforms. So you're gonna copy all this here into your config file. You can place it anywhere you want. So I think you should place it in the section where you're configuring the plugins like here. I think it's like Kodi, Push Bullet, and things like that. So you want to put it in here. So once you do that, you're pretty much done with the setup side for your Gecko. But now you have to set up for the Google Sheets side. But before you do that, so one other thing that you need to do is install the require module. And in this case, in your Gecko root run. So you would be in the Gecko folder and just run this npm install require. And now install the require module. And then once you do that, you can click on his link. Let me copy of this Google form. What you do is you go and open this link and then you right click on this link here and say make a copy. That will save a copy of the Google forms that he created into your Google Drive. So once you do that, you should see it in your Google Drive like I have here. And then you just want to open it. And then when you open it, it'll say that not accepting response. So you want to turn it on. So it's now accepting responses. The next thing you want to do is click on this create spreadsheet button because you want it to save any form responses into the spreadsheet. So you want to create a spreadsheet. So click on create spreadsheet and they'll ask you to create the spreadsheet. I just use the default name. And then in here, once the sheet is created, you want to right click on the bottom tab section here for different spreadsheets. So you want to right click on that and set the click on rename. You basically just want to remove the one so that looks like form responses. So then that way the plugin would know which sheet to write to. It doesn't work with the original name, form responses one. It has to be form responses. So once you do that, uh, click on tools, click on script editor. And then here, what you have to do is open the Google Sheets script file that you download from this repo. You want to copy all of this. So you want to click control A and control C to copy. And then in here, what you do is, the other thing is, don't try to paste it directly in here like this. You want to get rid of the function, my function. You want to delete the stuff here. I guess theoretically, you probably could just copy and paste it below it. One of the mistakes I did trying to do, trying to install this, was I pasted all the code within the function, my function, and that it didn't work at all. But so either you just delete this function here, or you could like um, paste the code that you had underneath this uh, little bracket right here. 
In my case, I deleted the code and then I pasted all the stuff in here. So once I did that, you have to then go into edit current project triggers. At least that's the set of the instructions that he provided. So you just go down here, I think, um, go to edit current project trigger. But he did say theoretically the on form submit function in code should be triggered by this anyway. But it didn't seem to work until I added the trigger manually. Your mileage may vary. In my case, what I did was I tried to edit current projects trigger and then I tried to add this current uh, trigger as as he said on form run set the event from spreadsheet and set it from on form submit as the action. Once I click on save though, I was getting this a lot. We're sorry, a server error has occurred. Please wait a bit and try again. I just kept on trying, kept on trying. I, tried, I looked up into this error on Google, didn't find anything um, relevant to what I was trying to do. I tried a few things that they was, that was recommended, but at the end it just didn't work. I was still getting this error message. But I figured since he said that it's not necessary to have this added as a project's trigger. So I just basically ran without it. And guess what? It does work. So anyway, after this, after I gave up trying to do that step, you want to click on the three dots on top here and get a pre-filled link. And they'll ask you to fill in a sample pre-filled response so that the form knows what it's supposed to be expecting. So I just filled in some general information um, that generally fits what it's looking for, like the exchange, the currency, the asset. And then once I did that, you click on the link on the bottom and then you can say share this link to include pre-fill responses so you want to copy the link so once I copy the link what I did was I went back into my config file here and then right above the config.g forms I just made a comment and pasted my whole entire URL here so once I did that I copy the form ID the form ID is really just that section as you see right here right after the slashes uh, for the form these e and copy the whole thing right here up until view form so you want to up to that end slash for view form. So you want to copy all of that right into the form ID. And then one thing you notice that there's a lot of these things already filled in, like these numbers for exchange, currency, asset. If you compare it, they actually match. Every one of them match. So this is 13469. So this is exchange. It matches exactly. And you could go through it and it matches every one of these yields. So it should work correctly. So all you really have to do is just copy the form ID. That's it. So once you do that, save it, and then you run your Gecko trading bot like you normally do. And what you should get at this point, once you see a trade, or once you see your Gecko trading bot issue a trade, you should see something like this, where you get the timestamp, the exchange, the asset, the action, and so on and so forth. So that's what it did. And then at this point, I just confirmed it worked, and I, I just didn't let it go further. I think ultimately it should, if it does a few of these buy and sell trades, it should look something like this where it actually does even these mini graphs for you, which is pretty interesting to look at. I haven't played with that far. Really, this, this video is just to show you guys the installation process. Hope it helps you guys understand how to get it to work. It's a little bit more involved than the other plugins. Definitely, if you guys have issues, I think going into this forum here, you would definitely get a lot of help from other people. I mean, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out as well. But you can always find me on the forum in here. I'm pretty active on the forum, so you, you can definitely get help on this if you need help with it. So anyway, that's my video for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining. Peace out.